I... Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You... You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Self. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy, could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district, and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people! Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? We need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Uh, 
Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! with that face. Ow! The nerve of you guys! You are such morons! I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off and I had no idea what to do. I was so worried. I mean scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Dad, 
Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow! You're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight.
welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one price for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you are searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again.